Hello and welcome to my 25 tips and tricks you may not know about in Sea of Thieves. These tips will be focusing more on the obscure and helpful stuff, and not the stuff like the Kraken Roars at 3am. If you enjoyed this video, or learned something new, let me know down in the comments. And if you want me to make a series with more tips and tricks like these, then feel free to let me know as well. But before we get into the tips and tricks, a quick word from this video's sponsor, Flexispot. Flexispot recently reached out about sending me one of their desks, and it just so happens that I was looking to upgrade my desk, so it was a win-win situation. The last week I've been using their E7 standing desk model, and it's honestly a game changer. Being able to adjust the height of my workspace really gives me extra comfort and has made me more work efficient. They're currently celebrating their 6th anniversary with a sale of up to 27% off from now until September 9th. The E7 model is fully customizable from the desktop to even the frame, so there's a style for everyone. And their products also come with a 60 day risk free return. You can also set the heights of your desk, and with a simple touch of a button, it will move to your personal settings. I'll be putting a link to their website in the description for all to check out, and thank you again for Flexispot for sponsoring this video. Now on with the tips and tricks. Skeletons can't shoot gunpowder in your hand. The only way they can blow up is with melee attacks. I believe this is just due to preventing other skeletons from shooting keg skeletons. There's an area in this loop that if you press up against the wall, you can climb the outside ladder. This is a cool little trick if an enemy follows you downstairs. The Reapers are added in Season 7, and although when you speak to them about the Reaper's Bones, they'll tell you they don't work with them, you can still sell loot to them, you just won't get Faction Rep or the Gold Multiplier. If you're tucking on a sloop, then this is the best spot. Just wedge yourself up in the corner, hide, and then you become practically invisible. Grey Marrow Islands, or any island that has this summoning table, will only have food in the barrels around the area of the table. This is a good way to restock if you need food. I know I showcased this in a video last week, but if, you, if you're in a storm and close to an island, placing down any checkpoint for Tortel 5 will move the storm away from the area. This is only server based. Another feature added in Season 7 was repairing your ship at a shipwright. However, this doesn't just remove the visual damage. Any fire, water, or mast damage will also be removed as well. I need a very, very you can buy gold from Lorena, however, Gold Rush and Golden Glory also affects her prices meaning that for 50 doubloons, you can get 30k gold rather than 10k. Although you can collide with shipwrecks, they'll never do damage to your ship. If you're in the raw and a volcano is erupting next to you, just look up in the sky. If you see ash falling, then you're in range of said volcano and you could be hit by it. Although not marked in the map, the Sea Dogs Tavern has a shipwright 
that you can buy supplies from if you're on a captain's ship. You can jump up ladders that aren't at a 90 degree angle. Now this one's only mainly for controller players, so if you or someone you know plays on controller, make sure you show them this one. So when you're holding different pieces of food, when you go to use it, it will give you the last piece of food that you picked up. Unless you press pause and pick it yourself, however that's not very really effective. If you go to your controller settings and then map the food to whatever button you want, I have mine set to right stick clicking, as that has no map by default, you can cycle through the food on the go. As of Season 7, the Shadow Ghost now has unique music, so you 100% know that you have it. Thank you to Call Me Toxic for the video. What? It is shrouded. It's shrouded. It is. Okay, it's shrouded. It's shrouded. I need to turn. Got shrouded. Yeah. Ancient skeletons are immune to fire, so good to know before Community Day. There's areas within Sea of Thieves where you can get stuck and black screen yourself. This is quicker than getting a mermaid in most cases. In order for a reaper chest to naturally spawn, there must be three crews on a server. Although loud, the harpoon deals 10 damage and stuns the enemy on hit, making it more effective than the cutlass. When fighting any of the tortel bosses, have your crew leave before the fight making the boss weaker as it scales to crew size. You can put out the fire on the balcony of a galleon by splashing the wall of the captain's cabin. You can bucket water through the grates of your ship. If you have a controller and a keyboard plugged in, and use them at the same time when turning the ship, if you let go of the wheel, the ship will be on autopilot to that spot, so you can work on sails or other stuff. Using players on shadow skeletons will make them vulnerable to damage. Although sniper skeletons were removed, they still naturally spawn in the throne room of Shores of Gold if you stay there too long after the fight with the Gold Warden. Skeleton ships have banners displaying what curse they use. Again, I've been playing this game since launch and know tons of useful tips and tricks like these. So if you want to see more, feel free to like, subscribe and comment down below and I'll make a series out of it.